he is so afraid to come in the truck, so I just picked him up and brought him in. Now he'll be used to it. I may be regretting that at some point. Maybe. I don't think so. He's like, oh, this isn't so bad in here. I just bud. It's so comfy. There's so many blankets. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> He's so cat like. He's such a little cat. Cats would do this like forever. Pinto was raised with cats, so he's a little cat-like. Buddy, keep me warm. Keep me warm, little nugget. <laughs> he's like, can I go under these blankets? Yes, you can. You know, my favorite is to go under the blankets. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Go ahead. Go on, buddy. Get it. Don't try and go out that window. How are you feeling this morning, Polly? I'm feeling good. Feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling great. Feeling great. Great, 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 good. Good, 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 great. Great, 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 good. I'm feeling. I'm feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling great and good. Great and good. Good and great. Great and great. Great and great and good. Great, 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 good. Want me to make a rap song like that? Yeah. Maggie's birthday is coming up. I told Polly he should make her a wrap for her birthday. What do you guys think? Oh, I think it would be hilarious. Ow! Ow! He's a little buddy. Oh my goodness, buddy. Oh. Oh my goodness, buddy. Oh. I want to get your eye boogers. We stole Pinto this morning. He was outside barking at these workmen that are out there. And he's always been afraid to come in the bread truck, so I just picked him up and brought him in today. And now he loves it. He's like so excited. Can you look at the camera? Look at the camera. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Smile for the cami. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there he is. Oh. He's the baby. So perfect. His little private parts are totally censored by the blanket. <laughs> right, Peter? Right, Peter? Oh, what's in that pocket? What's in there? Apparently, Ow. when he was little, he used to live in Devin's pocket, his hoodie pocket. So he still always tries to get in pocket. Little cat dog. He is very cat like. He's such a kitty. Mm, he's biting hey. his wiener. Let's pan back to you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone that sort of thing on my channel. Don't you start doing it too. <laughs> if I could, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have a channel if I could do that. <laughs> never get out of bed. I would have died from starvation years ago. <laughs> <coughs> Not coronavirus. No. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Mm. Any updates for today? What updates. Do you, what do you want to do today? Not much. Make videos gonna start raining soon. Yeah. Over here, right Pinto? 
Gosh. It's nice and bright and sunny outside right now. I know. I just went and put the plants out, the flats. Yeah. To catch some rays before it. And we should let it rain on them too. Yeah. A little bit. And yeah. Then, they know, do need a crazy. watering. Yeah. Oh, I've been meaning to take down that clear water bottle that's up there. That, um. That one's plain water back that there. One? You can use that for the for spraying plants. Oh, for watering the flat. Watering the flats, and my succulents that I just planted. Hmm. I wonder um, if that will give enough of a. If it'll just be so tedious. Eh, maybe, but I think it'd be fine for the succulents for sure. We can try it if that means I don't have to drag that hose. Mm-hmm. Yep. Maggie just texted me because I texted her. We stole your dog, so she wasn't looking for him. And she just said, she said, um, he went in. She was so excited that he came in the van. Little does she know. And you stole him. <laughs> I and had to carry him. him in. He was not a willing participant. <laughs> and then she just said, I didn't even realize he was missing. <laughs> <laughs> buddy. Little warm buddy. I love his speckled belly. Yeah. He has a speckled chest, too. That's what I mean. Yeah, his chest and belly. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So many kisses. <sighs> okay, so... Plan for today, today is... Not much? Mm, we could get into the drawer. It's always an option. There's always the drawer. Haven't you been proud of me? I'm, I haven't even said it because... You didn't want I to jinx it? just figured you were practicing something. Self-control? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like, what is it? Sev today's the seventh day of quarantine. Seventh day. Yeah. But we've quarantine. really been here for nine days. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I've had access to the drawer for oh, nine yeah. days. Separate from quarantine, I've had access to the drawer for like nine days and nothing. Yep. So. Great job. It's pretty good. Yeah. But what what are you waiting for? What's your thought around that? I don't know. I just thought it might might be good to stay present. free ourselves from, um, you know, like be healthy before we start getting into psychedelics or, or any other kind of things. You know, mm -hmm. um, get into that two week kind of period. Not that I have to wait all the way, but you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, think it's I want to be in a perfect state of not perfect. There's, when's it ever perfect? But I want to be in a great state of mind before I start doing any of those things. I agree with that. Yeah, I knew you would. I knew you'd be into that. Good to do things whole, intentionally, intentionally and wholly, and you know, just in a healthy way. In a healthy way. No not doubt. Not habitually. No doubt. I agree. You're doing great. Thanks. Good job. I'm impressed. Phew. Thanks. I do think about it a lot, though. But that's okay. That's how you know that it's good that you're waiting. Yeah. I really got poo. <laughs> this is the theme of our morning videos. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're also naked, so... Mm, yeah. Maybe I'll turn the camera off so you can get up. That'd be nice, but not necessity. I can only leave it on. <laughs> yeah. Today's quite a cold and rainy day here in Northern California. We're having a pretty low key day. It's been raining most of the day. Right now it's not. You can go outside and take a look around. I'll show you what the scene looks like. It's beautiful here, even on a bad rainy day. The bread truck is doing just fine. I got a battery charger, so I'm able to keep a nice full charge on the batteries at all times. Right now it's reading 12.2. I installed this neat little uh, voltage meter 
on the dash so you can see at a glance what the voltage is at any time it usually reads no higher than like 12 point uh, five when it's just resting so I don't know if my battery voltage is a little bit low or maybe they're a little bit old batteries they are Optima red top batteries I have two of them up there but I don't know they're starting to get a little bit old maybe they need to start thinking I need to start thinking about replacing them but I think I also have a parasitic drain on the truck somewhere I realize the USB that is showing me voltage is a parasitic drain but um, I had this issue before I installed the voltage meter. I'm losing power somewhere, and the truck is very simple, so I should be able to figure that out. I need to really diagnose that problem, but for now, I got a battery charger, and it's a maintainer, so I can just leave it hooked up, and um, it's great. I can leave it hooked up. It'll keep my batteries topped off at all times, and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, that's the good thing about having a extension cord running from the house right now as I can do that kind of stuff. Since there's no sun, I'm keeping everything charged with a extension cord from the house as well. So for right now, we have plenty of power and all the um, power stations are charged. Both the Jackeries, the Rock Pals, the Max Oak, and the EcoFlow is all charged up. I'm going to head back inside and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today. Okay, so you guys want to hear a joke? Why are these called roach clips? Because the name potholder was already taken. <laughs> Anyways, I'm on the porch on the farm right now. I'm just uh, out here taking a small smoke break. We're cooking a bunch of curry and brown rice for dinner right now inside and it's a very chill calm day I never <coughs> I always loved having a roach clip it's so convenient but I never have one around but I found one recently at Slab City and I was like yeah I'm taking that with me man uh, it's really beautiful down here today take a look at the pond I don't know if you can even see it it's so far away. No, you can't even see it. Right now it's this beautiful shade of like jade. Um, it got very muddy when the rain started and all the dirt and everything washed down into it and it got all clouded, but now it's clearing back up again. And it's like this forest under the water of just, you know, it's just pond weed, but it looks really cool. We've been kind of talking about getting some, uh, ooh, I just heard a cow. Right on cue, we've just been talking about getting some animals around here. I think it'd be really cool to have some animals, but that's a really big commitment. It needs daily care. So even some chickens would take a lot of upkeep. You know, you have to at least visit them once a day. Uh, there's a little barn down there too. <laughs> wow, I've never heard cows out here much, but... The uh, <coughs> the property is set up really nicely for a herd of something, you know, a sheep or goat or a couple cows or something like that. A few different pastures that they could be moved between. And there's even a chicken coop over there completely set up. That'll be another location of an upcoming video that I'll be making. Um, another location is the barn. We'll be doing a video from the barn and also the yurt that is up on the top of the hill up there. Um, we're just going to move around to all different locations on this property and show you guys what we have to work with here and uh, the kind of place that we're staying at, just in case you'd like to know. Not much going on today. I'm going to go back inside because it's cold out here. Smoke break is over. Thank you for watching this episode. Thanks for watching all these check-in episodes. We will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Love you very much. Okay, I got to go. It sure is raining. I got the uh, full farmer uh, uniform on. Muck boots and everything. I got to go put the seed flats away because it started raining. We took them out to get some 
sun, but now it's too much water. I feel weird wearing these strange boots. <laughs> <laughs> they were peeking and I saw them I caught them peeking <laughs> okay going up to the yurt and putting these things away oh yeah This would have been a lot easier if I had both hands. But the seeds are all safe and sound. They're doing just fine. I'll give you a quick look around. This is the yurt. There'll be a video coming from the yurt very soon. And I'll give you guys a full tour of what all the yurt has to offer. But that's not gonna be until a day or two from now. I'm gonna go back inside because it's raining and I'm trying to stay warm. Oh, look at how cute this house is. A little stove pipe, pipe puff, puffing out smoke. It's pretty awesome here. <laughs> Were you watching me? <laughs> sure is. Tell them to subscribe and hit the like button. <laughs> awesome. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.